and they're off for the Palace of Holyrood House handicap. Art Power very quickly and destroyed the grey. Lambeth Walk in the claret jacket. Mighty Spirit is also showing speed on the near side. On the far side, Never Dark was fast away in the grey jacket. Second over there, Bam Practice, chased by Rayong and Dylan De Vega. Uh, coming through is George Cornelius, possibly just ahead Art Power on this near side. They're followed by Lambeth Walk and Mighty Spirit. And then Classy Moon and Maystar is driven along as they race on now towards the final quarter mile. Art Power still doing well on this stand side. Chased hard by George Cornelius in the centre. Keep Busy is making progress now on the far side. It's still Rayong doing well from Never Dark and then Bam Practice as they run on towards the final furlong. Art Power leads the way. Chased by Keep Busy in second place. Lambeth Walk then Rayong as they race up towards the line. Art Power is forging ahead now and is too good for them as the market suggested and Art Power wins impressively. Keep Busy second just perhaps from Dark Dancing in the street running on well and Lambeth Walk was back in fourth. And they're off and racing. Pretty level one on the near side. Val Policella and Undertake were quickly away, chased by Dandala. Flying Aletha showing good speed towards the far side in the blue jacket. And uh, they're chased by Mother Earth and Cirrus and Golden Melody with a white face. On the extreme far side is Willabelle in a green jacket. Uh, more towards the centre, Bon Vitesse just behind Follow Suit and Undertake in the red, white and blue. Then the grey Val Policella and Dandala tracking the leaders towards the near side is Marions and out the back is Satahi as flying Aletha the Wesley Ward challenger to continues to lead the Albany field by a length to Golden Melody with Mahali on the far side chased by Willa Bell down the near side undertaken follow suit making progress now with Marions and Satahi is now being switched towards the stand side they're inside the final two furlongs spread across the track and coming through Dandala perhaps just to lead the way now and picks up well Dandala from Golden Melody and then behind these Undertaker Val Policella Mahali on the far side with Willa Bell but Dan Della that was a decisive move approaching the final furlong and going further clear now in the hands of Ben Curtis and Dan Della is going to win the Albany by the best part of five or six lengths Satahi running on well down the near side of Mother Earth second and third and then came Undertake along with Val Policella and Willa Bell combination the Norfolk five furlongs they're off and racing away from the stalls Golden Powell very fast into Strider a bullet from a gun leaving the stalls leads by two to three lengths from Macho Pride and Eye of Heaven through the first furlong the Learjet is handy on the far side in the claret jacket chasing hard Jojo Rabbit down the near side in orange from cooperation and then Ventura Tormenta in the center of the field is Andronicus Bow alongside Imperial Force followed by Nelson Gay Lipizzana is second last and last of all is Papal B. Golden Pal has gone very quickly indeed through the first three furlongs here. Still leads by length and a half. The Learjet getting on terms far side with Eye of Heaven and then in behind these is Macho Pride. Jojo Rabbit tries to stay on but Golden Pal finds a bit more. Shaken up there by Andrea Azzini. Two lengths to the Learjet. They're clear. Can the Learjet close down on this long time leader? Golden Pal from the Learjet. They have it between them. Racing up to the line. The Learjet getting close, Golden Pal needs the line the Learjet has got up, the Learjet has won the Norfolk from Golden Pal worn down in the dying strides back in third then Imperial Force and quite close for fourth with Macho Pride Ventura Tormenta and Lipitzana probably involved and they're off and away. Communique bounced out boldly. Often makes the running. Prominent on the running rail. Near side is Alunak. And they're trapped by Ella Cam in the blue and white jacket. The white blaze, dark blue jacketed Anthony Van Dyke, probably just fourth on the running rail. Defoe is next back in the field, followed by Mirando. And then towards the rear, Eagles by Day is quite free from Fanny Logan and Hamish is switched off at the back of the field as they run downhill covering the first quarter mile and communique at a swinging gallop. From in second, Alunak, Ella Calm on the outside of last year's derby winner, Anthony Van Dyke. Last year's winner is on the inside, Defoe in fifth place then, followed by Mirando, Eagles by Day, Fanny Logan, the filly and Hamish. 
running down the hill now passing the mile marker and into Swinley Bottom and it's Communique by a length and a half to Alunac. Ella Cam is close up third on the outside Anthony Van Dyke running up against the rail. Defoe is off the inside now in fifth place in that yellow jacket followed by Mirando out wide of Eagles by Day, Fanny Logan and Hamish. Inside the final seven racing uphill now on their way back towards the home turn and Communique really pressing on from Alunac in second place. Ella Cam is third. Anthony Van Dyke is on the inside of Defoe. Two lengths away to Eagles by Day. And then Mirando still held up. Fanny Logan and Hamish remains the onlooker at the back of the field. So still Communique then as they race past the five and quickly on towards the four. Communique has opened up by about three lengths, three and a half lengths now over Alunac in second place. Ella Khan well poised on the outside. Anthony Van Dyke still there towards the inside. Ryan Morp just pushing along on the inside there of Defoe followed by Eagles by, by Day and then on the outside Mirando. Hamish passing Fanny Logan at the back of the field as they race past the three and into the home straight is Communique from Elecam. Then Defoe, who's just holding in Anthony Van Dyke up the inside. Alunac as they race on towards the final two furlongs. And up front, Elecam just strikes the front from Communique, getting up the fence. Alunac, Defoe doing Anthony Van Dyke few favours. Meanwhile, Fanny Logan taking off down the outside. And Fanny Logan has come sweeping by runners in the hands of Frankie de Tori, entering the final furlong and has kicked two lengths clear of Alunac and Elecam. Cam and Defoe and racing up towards the whip finish. It's another Royal Ascot win for Frankie de Tori, this time in the Hardwick on Fanny Logan. Big run from Alunac in second. Tight for the miners. Hamish was running on on the far side then. Anthony Van Dyke and then Elecam. Six furlongs, group one action. Uh, Kamari was not that quickly into stride. Mums Tipple, the opposite, fast away, far side from Aberama Gold. Uh, blazing the trail down the near side, Golden Horde, ahead of Southern Hills as they race quickly through the first furlong and spreading across the track with prominent also Royal Lytham who's uh, tracked by Mill Isle and then Lope Fernandez in a purple cap, the yellow jacketed Pierre Lapin, Dubai station towards the rear is Les Oak. On the stand side group Golden Horde with Southern Hills and then Kamari who's recovering from a slightly slow start back in the field to Royal Commando, Royal Crusade, Chardon is pulled out in the black sleeves and then behind these Ventura Rebel and Pistoletto running down towards the final two furlongs now Mums Tipple is the overall leader Golden Horde on the near side coming through his Royal Crusade with Kamari, Chardon, Ventura, Rebel and behind these then is Royal Lytham as they race on now towards the final furlong, Golden Horde doing best now on the near side from Kamari is Golden Horde by three quarters of a length to Kamari, launching a big challenge they're chased by Ventura, Rebel and Royal Crusade and Royal Commando but Golden Horde is going to see them off in grand style to win the Commonwealth Cup from Kamari in second Ventura, Rebel through for third just ahead of Royal Commando and Mill Isle. Queen's Vars, Group 2, a mile and three quarters. They jump out in a pretty good line. Cloud Thunder just drops to the rear of the field in the early strides. Going forward is Born with Pride on the outside of Punctuation. Aldebaran is third in the Godolphin Blue, tracked then by Nobel Prize as they run into the first turn, the first right-hander and approaching the mile and a half point from the finish. Santiago is back in fifth place. Caught wide cloud thunder of On Guard, who's restrained, and Berkshire Rocco is tucked away on the inside. So beginning the run downhill. And punctuation goes on into the lead, racing quite extravagantly. Big action horse leads by a couple of lengths to Born with Pride, the filly in second place, another two and a half lengths to Aldebaran in third. A similar margin to Nobel Prize, Santiago, his stable companion, going up the inside from Cloud Thunder on guard Berkshire Rocco. So on their way towards the mile marker at the uh, foot of the back straight, after which they'll turn right-handed at Swinley Bottom. And it's the punctuate, the leader is punctuation in the royal colours, the colours of Her Majesty the Queen, leads by three lengths to Born with Pride in second, Aldebaran in third, Nobel Prize Santiago, Cloud Thunder, Berkshire Rocco, and still under restraint at the back is On Guard, beginning the right-hander now and still punctuation. It looked a pretty good gallop in the early stages. Two lengths still to Born with Pride in second place, Aldebaran. 
These have been the front three throughout. The two Aidan O'Brien runners keeping each other company. Santiago on the inside of Nobel Prize. Three lengths away then to Cloud Thunder. And Berkshire Rocco, who hasn't left the inside and on guard, still looking on. Uphill now as they race towards the final five and a half furlongs in the Queen's Vars. Punctuation still with this advantage of about a length and a half now to Born with Pride in second place. They're clustering together behind. In third is Aldebaran. Santiago. Santiago up the inside, Nobel Prize, on now towards the four furlong marker. Barksha Rocco, then Cloud Thunder beginning to struggle, and on guard. Punctuation has got more company now, and some attention for the lead. Punctuation from Born with Pride, out wide, three wide is Aldebaran, four wide is Nobel Prize into the home turn. Santiago goes well on their heels on the inside, will need an out at some stage, and Barksha Rocco is making ground from the rear of the field. They swing for home. Home. Punctuation from Born with Pride. Aldebaran. Santiago now off the inside with every chance from Nobel Prize. And Barksha Rocco is going to try and find a gap between the front two or three as Born with Pride kicks for home. Aldebaran. Santiago unleashed down the outside and quickens into the lead now from Barksha Rocco in hot pursuit inside the final furlong and up towards the line. And it's Santiago by two lengths to Barksha Rocco. Santiago on the far side under Ryan more from Berkshire Rocco and Santiago holding Berkshire Rocco and goes on to win impressively. Santiago for the Queen's Vars. Berkshire Rocco second. They were well clear of Aldebaran in third and born with pride fourth. They're off and West End Charmer came out very boldly indeed towards the inside. Out very wide in the all blue is Dubai Future. Trying to go forward to his Indianapolis with uh, also Al Mufri and the grey medal winner. The pace looking on in the early stages. Johnny Drama is up with it as well. Getcha, getcha, getcha. Jay Jar further back from Good Birthday Protected Guest. Then La Donda V is towards the rear of the field along with Scarlet Dragon. Durston held up towards the inside and Dolphin Vista is last of all. So a lot of competition for the lead here with West End Charmer just spearheading them, nosing ahead of Indianapolis. Out wide then Johnny Drama, further out Dubai Future nearest the fence in the white jacket with the uh, orange star on the cap is Deja. Uh, getting buffeted about slightly there was Al Mufri followed uh, by Dubai Future, then medal winner. La Donda V on the inside good birthday further back in the field protected guest out wide Durston, Scarlet Dragon and Dolphin Vista. Emerging out of Swin Lee Bosson and inside the final seven furlongs. West End Charmer taking them along to Indianapolis with on the outside Johnny Drama. Deja is close up, breathing down their necks, followed by Al Mufri. Then Dubai Future, Getcha, 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 the grey medal winner. Out wide protected guest in a blue cap back on the fence is La Donda V. And then further back to Good Birthday and Durston. And still at the back, Dolphin Vista now being driven along. And second last is Scarlet Dragon. They're pretty well grouped together now, though, as they head on towards the final half mile in the Duke of Edinburgh handicap. And West End Charmer bidding to make it all here from Indianapolis in second. Johnny Drama is three horses wide. Deja, Al Mufri, Dubai Future. Getcha, getcha, getcha. La Donda V round the inside medal winner. Then protected guest further back, Durston. Good birthday trying to make up ground from Scarlet Dragon. About to turn into the home straight two and a half furlongs uh, in the straight to cover and it's West End Charmer that leads them into Indianapolis Johnny Drama on the outside Deja's in behind them then Getcha 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 wider out Dubai Future and then further back to Elmer Free Scarlet Dragon is making good progress from the back of the field and switches off heels there West End Charmer still the one to catch Deja now launching a challenge followed by Scarlet Dragon putting in good late work as they race on inside the final furlong Deja joining West End Charmer but Scarlet Dragon from the rear of the field has come flying through down the outside of Deja. Scarlet Dragon puts his nose in front. Beautiful ride. Scarlet Dragon wins. Scarlet Dragon and Holly Doyle punching the air from Deja in second. Third West End Charmer and back in fourth La Donda V.